hello guys in this video I am going to discuss about how we can use environment variable in node.js with express and typescript so let's move to the uh, steps what we are going to follow so as you can see here first of all we are going to install the and env so that env is a package in npm so we can use it if you are using yarn then you can also add it dot env okay so let's go ahead and see what we can do okay so i'm continuing the same video series and this is part 5 or chapter 5 okay so first of all let me go ahead and here install the dot env package so i'm going to write here npm i dot env now you can see it is installing it so let it finish so it's finished now okay so now i am going to import it and before doing that i would also like to do some modifications here we need not to uh, re-import okay as we can import it at the here just after the comma okay now here i am going to import and dot env from dot env okay so we have imported it and now what we need to do first of all i would like to use it right here process dot env dot okay and we also need to create a port or we can see the it env file so let me first create it so i am going to create it at the root because e dot env file should always be at the root so i am going to name it dot env okay so this is the environment variables file and here i can in slides at or put the value of port here or we can put any value here like this and we can just use this port like this here you can see using the process.env.port okay but you can see here everything is going well but we will get an error i will tell you why we are getting that error so first let me add here oops, okay so first let me add here the port so i am let me modify it a little bit okay let me, i will concatenate it okay i will add here to dollar and here i am going to process so the same thing we can check here so what is we being or whether we are able to read the dot env file or not okay so that's it so let me first run it and so i am going to use npm run build if you are new or you have directly come at came at this video then please uh, watch the the complete videos video series from the initial because you might not understand few points here okay so now after building the project i'm going to start this project so now you can see the application is listening on port undefined because currently i am not able to read the value okay so right here it is coming the undefined and also if i would like to like um, run the postman then ever you can see it is not able to connect with the server because currently the port number is not being read okay because here you can see in the port we are getting undefined so we need to get the value from dot env file in this port okay so what we can do here you can see we have imported it dot env but it is saying that currently dot env is declared but its value is never used or never read okay so what we can do we can okay we can put here dot env dot config 
so that's it what we need to do and now we will be able to read the file throughout our project okay so we just need to hit here and we will build okay and now I need to run here and PM start okay and now let's check whether we can do so you can see now we are able to read the port number from dot env file okay so now port is coming from dot env file and we are able to use it okay so now let me go ahead and run the api okay this which is well well already configured as we had done it in the last video so you can see now we are able to get the result so now what is the use of dot env file so basically dot env file can be used to put all the secret data okay so we can put their port number we can also put their host user password so we can put all these things so let me first copy this okay so or just let me copy it or we can also type so we'll just let me type here st host okay or we can if you want to come put any comments then we can start it using the hash so we can put here database connection okay and here I am going to put the host which is currently we have directly defined here so we need not to define it here like this we can just remove this and we can get it here process.env.host okay and let me put it here so again let me go here and I need to put user password database okay and make sure that you are not putting here a comma okay because that will not go ahead and run it Okay, make it password okay and make it user okay so now let's go ahead and run the project again so that we can check okay okay so I will run the build again Okay, so we can compile the code and convert it into JavaScript. And now I will run the npm start. So you can see npm has started now. And now I need to call the API. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit the send button. So you can see still we are able to access the database from the environment like with uh, by using the environment variables or getting the environment variables directly from the environment file or dot env file okay so you can see we have followed all these steps like we also imported the dot env we also written this line to, we also created the dot env file and we read the variable or environment variable using the process dot env dot variable name okay so like this you can use or you can like create or use environment variable in node.js project either you are going with the javascript code or typescript code okay so that's all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel